There, that's better. You just that's weird. You just, it's it's weird. weird. It's weird. Yeah. It's just, no. Ralph, what's weird? weird. Yeah. It's like, it's weird. You're the weird. weird that we don't want with you. You're being weird. I'm trying to distance myself. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, we won't allow it. I know. I know. I directing Uh, so, how did you get involved with this show? Well, Ralph, you, how did you get involved with Blue Water? I guess it'd be the first place to start, since you've been doing this for a while. Uh, you know, uh, I've been here a couple of years, a couple of uh, uh, performing, uh, of course. And then um, I had worked in Petrolia and Port Dover. Oh, yeah, I knew, uh, I knew Robert Moore, hmm. who was the artistic director of... Um, the lighthouse in Porto for for many years. Went there, yeah. Yeah. Many years. Yeah, and then he took over uh, VPP and he ran Petrolia for many years, and then he ended up at Blue Water, and then he got a gig out west while he was running Blue Water. Uh, so he knew that I had uh, was uh, had a regular kind of gig six months of the year at Sheridan. Mm -hmm. UTM and then I freelance and I did a lot of stuff and he approached me at a uh, uh, an opening at Theatre Orangeville in Orangeville, Ontario and he said might you ever be interested in artistic directing or whatever and I said yeah of course it's it's kind of every actor who wants more control is what dream <laughs> you know so uh, so then I didn't hear from him for basically another eight or nine months I thought, I don't know what he's talking about, but if you knew Robert, you, would, you wouldn't be surprised. So, um, so later on, uh, after that, those eight or nine months, he gave me a call and said, I'm leaving Blue Water, why don't you come on down and, and take it over? So I'm basically, you know, I, I, I basically, I'm fitting a slot of being a seasonal artistic director. How, how did everyone else get involved with this show? Uh, well, I was here last year. I actually did a show at Blue Water uh, with this Yahoo. <laughs> uh, we did Jonas and Barry in the Home, mm -hmm. where Ralph. She played my daughter. I played his daughter. He both acted and directed. Um, <laughs> and. Uh... <laughs> and yeah, so I so I started. Um, I did a show last year. And I loved it. I fell in love with King Carden and I loved being here. And I said, Ralph, how are you gonna get me back here? <laughs> and then she emailed me in November or something. She said, you know what? Have you ever thought of doing stag and dough? Because he said he wanted to do a Mark Crawford play. I was like, what about this one? Right, so then I thought, oh no, you know, we don't have the budget for it. We don't have the facility for it. We don't have, we, I, I, I hemmed and hawed all over the place. And, um, and then I think I, uh, you sent me an uh, email, an email said, with the subject line, okay, you win. Yeah. <laughs> and then said, stag and doe, August 2017, you wanna? That was it. And that was the official <laughs> offer. Uh, offer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was, my request was over Facebook. I asked Rob yeah. over Snapchat. Bless your heart. <laughs> 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 what you yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm not even sure what Snapchat is. <laughs> 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 so like, is it that thing for the ears and the top? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I asked Rob <laughs> over ICQ. <laughs> yeah. And fin he thing. finally got back to me 15 years later. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, last time I tried to get in touch with Ralph, I opened up my Facebook chat and he was already typing. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. Because that, that's what I was asking about jello shots and, you know, this, this, this. Whole... Oh, I thought you were being facetious. No! <laughs> now I feel like a jerk. What, what do I know? What do I know from jello shots? I, you know, I've learned all about them, but uh, apparently uh, people have these stag and does and. I don't, what do we call them in the city? Do we call them showers? What do we call them? Yeah. They don't exist it's not in the country. It's, it's not a city thing. Yeah. It happens yeah. in the country. So apparently they shell out a lot of money, mm -hmm. and it's it's essentially a big piss up. So Mark Crawford, uh, a student at, at UTM, um, uh, he's from Glencoe, Ontario, uh, 
And he first had this play produced 2014 at the Blythe Festival, which some of us saw, including myself. And I thought, oh my God, you know, he's a, you know, he's a very recent graduate. And he thought, well, how am I going to make my way in the business? So, like everybody else in the business, we, what do you call it? Diversi diversify. Yeah. And we go in a lot of different directions. And uh, he started writing. Um, he, he started writing after he went to his brother's Stag and Doe in Glencoe, Ontario. Because uh, Mark is a product of uh, dairy farmers in the Glencoe area. So he went to his own brother Stag and Doe, and apparently something went down at that Stag. I don't know what it is. Just suffice it to say, in our play, things go down. <laughs> He's invented circumstances to create this you know, incredible two hours of a slice of life that he's very familiar with and seems to have resonated with uh, uh, everybody or every theater across uh, Ontario, at the very least, and probably soon across Canada. We open August 15th, which is a Tuesday, August 15th. We close on August 26th. We have uh, six shows a week, Tuesday to Saturday, with a Wednesday matinee at 2 p.m at uh, the Blue Water Summer Playhouse, Kindergarten, Ontario, 707 Queen Street. Uh, shows are 8 p.m. except for Saturday, Saturday, which is after the parade. Every 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. Saturday, there's the parade yeah, yeah, yeah. in Kindergarten, so the show starts at 9 p.m. It's a great thing to do right after the parade, you know? Because they march you right up to the theater. Yeah. 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 And then just come upstairs. It's a, it's a ready-built queue for them. Yeah. Back. I'm gonna bookend this this thing. You know I am. I was doing a play in Port Dover called I'll Be Back Before Midnight. And as Halley well knows, sometimes you do a play and some stuff comes out of your mouth that wasn't necessarily on the page. At the time, John was writing it.